Hey, how's it going everyone? Today, I'm going to show you how to acquire a lot of ammo in spheres. Then I'll move on and talk about a way to freeze raids. And it does not end there because I'm also going to be showing you something interesting from yesterday's video that's completely new. And we're going to get into some teleportation as well as a better way to do the butcher glitch. And then to end the video, we're going to take a look at a post that was created over there on the Power World Discord, the official Discord, by the way. So now that you know what you're getting into if you have not subscribed but you have frequently stopped by the channel subscribe now turn those notifications on by clicking the bell and let's go ahead and take a look at this let's begin by discussing how to do the freeze raid glitch what you will need is to have a base available next you want to find a location where you can place down your pal box and at that point we are just going to create a base and wait for the raid to start when the raid does start all that we need to do is remove the base and i do want to make this clear i have not tested this on a solid ground only up in the air in a sky base type of design as you can tell right here, this is exactly what I've done. Built a sky base, created my base by placing down the pal box. Now we'll wait for the raid to start. Once the raid has started, you can then remove the pal box like I have done here. Why would you want to do this? Why would you want to freeze a raid? Well, if it happens to be a raid like this, where you have some humans and you have some pals as well, this will make it way easier to capture a good portion of these enemies. Although I do want to, you know, let you guys know that when you do freeze them, there's only about maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes, roughly somewhere between there, you will see that these pals and humans will begin to disappear. I think this is because we have deleted a pal box, so they're kind of just in this frozen state and the game just really doesn't know what to do. What you're going to notice in this next clip is a great example of what it looks like when the enemies begin to disappear. For example, right here on the left side, you will see that they begin to run towards the left. And if you try to throw a sphere as they do run away, it's not going to help one bit. Your sphere is going to disappear and it's pretty much a waste at that point. We are now going to move on and talk about glitch number two. The only requirements is that you're going to need a base available. You're also going to need a lot of material because we're going to build up towards the sky. When it comes down to building, you can use whatever material that you have at your disposal. If it's wood, stone, or even metal, it's completely up to you. Also, you do want to have a powerful pal or pals, especially a flying type pal. This way you can fly up towards the glitch and then back down towards the base. If at any point that you are struggling to make the climb, do not be afraid to create a floor. This way it will save your stamina quite a bit and you can just rest. Speaking of floors, we're going to create another floor here so that we can actually build a bench. What I suggest is that you place the wooden bench in a vertical position like so, place down a second bench so that it's on top. You should have something like this. Once you do, you can then delete the second bench. What you're going to notice is that the bench will begin to float. You can delete the floor as well once you're at that point. It does not matter. We need to actually delete both of these floors. Do not forget that you need to build your base pretty high up. This tower, sky base of some sort, yeah, it needs to be pretty high up there. And we can delete all the stuff like I mentioned previously. With all that deleted, we can head over towards the pal box. There are three destinations that we can travel to. There is one on the bottom, which is going to be the small settlement. There is one on the left, which is Fisherman's Point, and one more towards the north right, which is Dune Shelter. These three locations have civilians, security, even some merchants. What you can do is shoot one of the merchants or one of the uh, civilians or guards, does not matter. Whichever one it is, you're going to trigger the wanted level. Once you have done so, travel back towards your base by using the fast travel option you will notice that there is some enemies floating around and just blinking back and forth. At this point, you can stand near the bench, shoot the enemies to raise the wanted level, 
and you will notice on the left screen here that my jet dragon is actually defeating each of the guards i'm able to acquire a bunch of ammo spheres and some other things as well the founder of this glitch can be found over at the glitch unlimited discord this user is someone aka mr alpha underscore x thank you so much for sharing this over at the power world media channel thank you so much and we can now continue on and talk about glitch number three yesterday i had shown you all how to do the infinite butcher glitch which would give you schematics you can do this by simply throwing down your pal, butchering it, and then at the last second, hopping on top of your pal by using the mount option. Yeah, there's two things that you can do. The interesting thing is that you can butcher your pal once more without removing the pal and summon it down again. There is also something else that you can do with this glitch. If you do the same exact method and butcher your pal again and hop on top of it, and you end up going underneath the map, you can actually slingshot yourself back to your pal box or your base. Now, is there a purpose? Is there any use to trying out this glitch? I think there is absolutely because let's say that you're nowhere near a fast travel statue. You can easily do this glitch to float underneath the map and slingshot yourself back towards your base. And at that point, you can simply use the fast traveling uh, option there on the pal box to go wherever you need to go. Other than that, if you're not doing this for the slingshotting or for the schematics and materials, then there's really no point in trying out this glitch. If by any means you are struggling to attempt at this glitch, you can easily contact me or any of the members over on the Discord channel. There will be some links down below in the pinned comment. You can join the Twitter, you can join the Discord, or heck, you can even comment down below. I will try my best to help out as much as I possibly can when it comes down to those questions, as well as some of the members over on the Discord will try their best as well. Also one more thing is that if you try to float underneath the map without your pal, it's not going to slingshot you. What I would like to talk about next is a question that was asked in the previous video. This user right here asked a good question in the last video saying, can you use the freeze and rocket glitch with tower bosses? And unfortunately, to answer that question quickly, no, you cannot do so. I've tried, and it just seems to not work. Maybe it's this boss specifically. Yet to be fair, I did try this out on another boss, and it just was unsuccessful. I could not get it to work. Hopefully that answers your question, and if you guys have any questions, you can ask down below, and maybe next time I'll feature your comment, and I'll reply to it. And now moving forward towards the last and final topic here because I do want to bring you guys up to date on exactly what's going on with multiplayer. If you guys did not know, on the official Discord on Power World, the developer had actually informed us on exactly what's going on. If you take a look at the top here, you can see that it says Network Developer. Now let's begin to read and see exactly what this developer had to say. Regarding official service access issues and future countermeasures against cheating, currently some users are unable to connect to official servers due to cheating and the influence of fraudulent activities. We have confirmed that some players are unable to play the game properly. As a company, we do not tolerate any fraudulent activities or cheating, and we are working on measures to deal with it strictly and as a priority. First of all, we plan to release a player list function for servers in an update at the end of February. Through this, we will strengthen the identification of players who engage in cheating and the suspension of their use by development team. Following this, we plan to introduce an external anti-cheat solution to make measures against, particularly frequent fraudulent activities and cheating. Although the development team is dealing with each issue on a daily basis and taking measures, there are many cases where we are not able to keep up and we apologize for any convenience this may cause. Our entire team is working hard to get everyone back to the state where they can enjoy the game comfortably and with peace of mind as soon as possible. Thank you for your continued support. And that right there is pretty much it with what the network developer had to say. I think this right here is the right step in the right direction because honestly, there is a lot of cheaters. I recently had someone shoot me instantly and they were like level one and they had like an assault rifle. Ridiculous. There are cases like that, for example, where players actually try to do stuff like that and it's pretty crappy, but you know what? It's kind of how things work nowadays with games. 
there's like a cheater or at least a bunch of cheaters almost like in every game anyways this right here is great i cannot wait to see more updates in the future i think it's great that they're focusing on network and bugs and all these issues instead of adding new things although i would love to see some new objects and new technology to mess with I think it's even better for them to focus on this stuff mainly. Well, this right here is pretty much the end of the video. If you have truly enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And if you are not subscribed, do that now. Subscribe, turn those notifications on. Thank you for the support, and I will see you all in the next video.